Hi guys, Phil from Marketing with AI here. So if you saw my last video, you would have seen that we've been using ChatGPT to develop um, some outlines for branding a small business. In this particular case, I've just copied and pasted the prompt that we use, which incidentally, I'll leave all the prompts in the main documents, which you've got access to, you click on the link in the description. And um, so you can just copy and paste and treat them as, as you see fit. So when you're using ChatGPT and the other AI um, tools, I suggest you use it in a collaborative and iteration process. So don't just take the stuff that it gives you because it's gonna be dry and somewhat bland, I would suggest, and it won't fit your particular needs or your client needs if you're doing marketing for a client. So anyway, there's the, the prompt we've got. How do you make a small boutique retail women's fashion clothing shop? <laughs> Not the best prompt, I'll, I'll tidy this up and I'll put a, a tidied up one into the, um, the document as we go along. Into a UK brand, women aged 21 to 29 in employment and working at the professional level. So we'll ask it to do, we'll, actually we won't ask it to, yeah, we will, we'll ask it to do that. And um, because don't forget chat GPT has actually got a type of memory built in. So we can ask it to refer back to other uh, data that's given us or generated in the session. So we'll let it do this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to start developing a marketing strategy, a top level marketing strategy. And we can drill down through this either today or tomorrow or over the, the coming days and weeks, uh, depending on your needs, guys. So let's just see what we're getting here. So this is the the brand kind of um, outline strategy that it's given. What we want to do is is dive deeper into this. So this is just an example. If you use this for yourself or a client, you'd be pro providing the prompts with a lot more data and direction. The more instruction and direction you can give the prompts, the better your results will be, guys. So, so bear that in mind, please. So we're going to say, okay, well, this is okay for this example now. What we're going to do now is ask it to develop more detail with vis-a-vis -vis sales tactics and promotion tactics for one of these points. I like what it's given us here in point two, focus on creating high quality fashionable clothing that is tailored to the needs and preferences of professional women in the 21 to 29 age range. This could include office appropriate clothing, as well as more casual items that can be worn in a variety of settings. Okay, so... Let's see, could you, excuse me a second guys, got a new computer and it's difficult to see the, the keyboard sometimes. Please on point two. So what we're saying here is we're asking the AI to refer back to it while some of the, the data is, it's actually developed for us, which is one of the things that makes uh, chat GPT stand out at the moment. The fact that it can refer to its own data that it's, it's actually generated in the session. So let's see what it gives us now, guys. So we're asking it for more uh, information about point number two. It's freezing here, guys. <laughs> I've just come in and put all the heating on and trying to get some warm hands. So got a jumper on and a coat. Okay, so that's that's quite uh, a lot of good information that's given us there. Okay, let's see how would I promote my brand on social media? Let's see, especially tick talk now the language model large language model that uh, chat gpt is using ended its training in 2021 so it won't go any further than that at the moment so it's always referring back to to its past data set so let's just see what it gives us with these two two platforms so saying you need to create a strong and consistent visual aesthetic for the brand that reflects its personalities and values. And remember in the last video, if you saw the last video, we asked it to, to start developing an outline mission statements as well, which it did really well. Those mission statements, any of this data, I keep saying this, I know guys, please forgive me. Take that data as a skeleton, like an, an outline, the bare bones that you will then put flesh on the bones and breathe life into the data using your own creativity and your needs or your client needs. So let's see what we get with this, guys. So yeah, point number one, the visual aesthetic. Post high quality images and videos of the clothing and accessories offered by the boutique, showcasing products and ways that customers can use them, yeah. Now, if, you, if you're involved in the, the marketing sphere, guys, you may say, well, this is you know kind of obvious. I'm not, I'm not kind of promoting this to you guys as a, an expert tool, what I'm promoting it to you guys is 
as a brainstorm and tool. However, if you're uh, running a small business or you're manager of a small business, it may be the case that you haven't got a dedicated marketing manager in-house. This is where these tools shine because it's like having a, a marketing expert kind of in your pocket. Well, I say marketing experts, a marketer with one to three years experience and agency etc so these things are really really good and then again you can just take these and set yourself up a strategy that you can actually inc inc incorporate these points into so you've got a framework to work to a lot a lot of times a lot of smaller businesses i work with they haven't got any strategy for marketing it's just throw some ads and hope for the best well this tool Ch chat gpt and the other ai tools content bot niches etc you can use all of them in a similar fashion to this to develop strategies so let's let's see if we can drill a little bit closer then I'll, I'll, or a little bit deeper then i'll wrap the video up for today guys so let's see okay influencer marketing we, we all know that's quite important nowadays so oops you see what i mean about the keyboard guys how would you suggest buying and contacting you and um to promote a brand and Gain more. It's, I'm sorry. I'm just chatting away. I'm doing this biz ability. So I didn't put a question mark there, but the, the, the AI is smart enough to know I'm asking it a question. Let's see what it comes up with. So I'm going to, I'm going to drill one more time down deeper into one of these points to show you how you can use this guys. Use it as I mentioned, an iterative and collaborative process and then take the data and, you know, use it as you, as you will guys. I put these prompts in the document, which is, a uh, link is included below. You've got access to that, guys. It will it covers stories that are being released that I find are interesting and maybe interesting to you guys. Uh, summaries of the stories and links to the original articles. It will also cover some of the tools that I use on a regular basis, the AI tools. I'll do mini tutorials with them, guys. And uh, what else I'll, I'll include? I'll be including all the, the prompts that I use as well, guys. So. Take that, guys. One of it. It's this is a, a new field, an exciting field. It's expanding every day, so we can help you a little bit. I'm, I'm pleased to do so. So let's just see what we get here. Use social media tools and analytics to assess the influencers' re reach and engagement levels. Okay, let's just see if we can take this. What should I? I'm just move myself out the way here, guys. Okay. Okay. Let's see what it goes with with this, guys. Then we wrap this up for today. So it appears as though Chat GPT may have uh, scaled up a little bit because I had no. Uh, error messages coming up asking me to, to slow down a bit or try try again a bit later. So that, that's good news. Remember, guys, in chat, GPT is licensed. You know when to use this for commercial usage or gain at the moment. So there's plenty of other tools out there. You can take this data, pop those into the other tools, and then, you know, tree can change it as you need. Uh, tools that I'm thinking of straight off are Nishis, Phrase IO, Content Boss, really, really good. And they're, 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 they're cheap as well. Incredibly cheap, actually. So it's given us quite a long answer here. Let's see what it's going to say in total. So it's identifying several key factors to ensure that the influencer is a good fit for the brand. Uh, relevance, yeah, we've got to look for relevance. It's got to look for reach, engagement. So the influencer should have a high level of engagement. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's, it's very true. It's not just a point of how many followers they've got. It's how many engaged followers that they've got for uh, influencers, which is critical. Okay, guys, so you can see the process that I'm using here. You can just uh, take the data, drill down, take that data, drill down further, and you can you can have a, a marketing plan up and running extremely quickly that you, you and your clients can wait to. So I hope this helps, guys. If you've got any questions, give me a shout. Don't forget, there's a link in the description to the full document. And if you've got any questions, give me a shout. All right, take care. Bye-bye.